I went off to treatment for 30 days, came back, and three weeks after I got home from treatment in, in late March, I had to go into court for my sentencing for theft charges. I had been charged with two counts of first degree theft. And I stood there in that courtroom and I listened to, when you go in for a sentencing, they have what are called victim impact statements. And that's where the victims of the defendant get up and they tell the courtroom and the judge just exactly what they think of the defendant. And it wasn't good. I had to listen to these clients, talk to the judge and tell them, tell the judge what I had done to them and stood before the judge. And, and she looked at me and she said, the best thing for you is to go to jail today. And, you know, I can look back on that. And I have spent four months in jail and I don't know that jail is the answer for, for gambling addicts. I think there are other ways to, to, and programs and alternatives, but I did need that time. I needed time to decompress. I needed time to think about what I had done over the last 15 years, what I had done to my wife and son, uh, because I was not ready to just go back into society after living a lie for so many years, you becoming, it becomes ingrained in you. And I needed time to process. I needed time to think about how I was going to move forward. And so sitting in jail and staring at walls for four months kind of gave me that that time to where I walked out of that place in the middle of June of 2015. And I had over a million dollars in debt. I had a broken marriage. I had no friends left, but I had this weight off of my shoulders for the first time in 15 years. I, I refer to it as the monster of addiction. It was gone. I didn't have that anymore. So that was the greatest feeling I've had, I think ever. Mm. 